Missouri Business Today, this week's development news. Hi, I'm Amy Susan, Communications Director for the Missouri Department of Economic Development. Last Monday marked the five-year anniversary since the release of Governor Nixon's Strategic Initiative for Economic Growth, an economic blueprint developed through input from leaders in business, education, labor, and local agencies to maximize the state's competitiveness in the 21st century global economy. Department of Economic Development Director Mike Downing helped lead this transforming initiative. With the implementation of our strategic plan over the last five years, we've seen a lot of measurable outcomes as a state. These include identifying our highest growth industries and focusing our resources on expanding businesses within these industries to create good paying jobs, training our workforce, recruiting foreign investment and increasing exports, and boosting entrepreneurship. Today, we are the number one state in the nation for new business creation, and we can point to the strategic plan as the blueprint that helped get us there. The state also released the March 2016 jobs report last week, which found that Missouri's unemployment rate held steady at 4.2 percent last month, considerably lower than the national rate of 5 percent. Following February's revised employment growth of more than 10,000 jobs, the state's overall net non-farm payroll in March was little changed, although several industries did see strong growth. Two Missouri-grown organizations also celebrated the completion of local expansion projects last week. In St. Louis, the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center hosted a formal dedication of its new William H. Danforth Wing, an addition that will make way for 10 new scientific teams and 100 new scientists. The $45 million addition includes new space to increase research capacity in crop improvement, sustainable agriculture, and plant biology, further positioning Missouri as a leader in bioscience research and innovation. And just down the road, leading health Healthcare enterprise Sentine Corporation cut the ribbon on its new claims processing center in Ferguson. The company invested millions of dollars into the new facility and has created 250 new jobs in the community as well. Sentine is also partnering with the state to improve the skills of the area workforce through the Missouri Works Training Program. In this week's tech news, 10 small business incubators across the state were recently approved for a half a million dollars in state tax credits to help them leverage one million dollars. This capital will help local incubators with non-operating expenditures to support new business creation. And that is Missouri Business Today. For the full news coverage, be sure to visit MissouriBusinessToday.com.